All right, two years. She hadn't gone on a date in two years. Two years. The bar was set pretty low. I just want to go out with a dude. Two years. So she waited and waited and waited. Finally goes out with this dude and now finds out that he's a convicted felon. So should she continue to go out with him or not? So let's see what he was convicted for. Because that would, that's the, that's that's the defining line, right? I think the reason why... And, like, how long ago it happened and how long you were incarcerated, I think all those things come into yeah. play. We talking grand larceny or murder? Exactly. <laughs> For you, which is more attractive? <laughs> if you're going to give me a car, I'll date you. <laughs> like, that's fine. I don't care if you have murder in your background. Rather, it's a nice I, car. <laughs> that'd be my least favorite murder is being murdered. <laughs> uh, I went on my first date in about two years. It was going well till about halfway through the date. This gets us back to the question we're always asking. What do you need to tell? How honest do you need to be on a first date? Do you need to tell them that you're a convicted felon on the first date? On the first date? I mean, if you're in like a well-lit area (laughs) in a public place, I think it's fine. It it depends what it is again. Yeah. If you're a murderer, probably. Okay. Let's continue on then. Uh, We were walking his dog. And it had gotten dark. Oh, no. (laughs) I swear I didn't ad-lib that. Uh, We were on an unpopulated but popular (laughs) walking path. (laughs) Wow. Bad news, bears. Well, that's probably not the best time to tell somebody. Yeah. That is literally the worst right. time. He could not have chosen a worse time to disclose that information. He was found guilty of bad timing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's only a, mister, that's yeah. only a misdemeanor. Uh, when he tells me he is a convicted felon, then in all caps, yup, my first date in two years, and he's a felon. Now, going into the date, he made it very clear he was a recovering addict. I was good with that. I found it admirable. I guess I didn't think about the fact that most addicts have drug charges. Is that true? I wouldn't say most, but... I mean, it's kind of par for the course. You might get caught with it, and that might be your rock-bottom moment. Yep. Okay. And he has not one, but multiple charges. Three DUIs. Few other narcotics charges. And a domestic charge with his ex-wife. Oh, Uh, She was also news to me, but I digress, she writes. I was most worried about the domestic, but he told me in his state they slap domestics on both parties when a disturbance is called, especially when it's evident drugs are involved. So that being said, that was four years ago. He told me how hard he worked to get sober. Um, The twice a day AA meetings, some anger management meetings, and yes, a few weekends in jail. He's now a completely different person. He makes lots of money working tech for a very well-known car company and even travels for the company. He can easily pay the money to get everything expunged in three years. Plans to do just that. But you can do that? I guess you can. You can actually pay to get stuff off a record? I've never heard of that. There's, I don't know. Lawyers can do amazing things. Um, and they can, yeah, like ask favors that they know about within the system. Um, I didn't know you could do that, but maybe with drug charges you can when you've gone to AA meetings twice a day and you have anger management and all of these certificates that you've completed, then it probably... Because you're on proof of it. Yeah, like, especially for addicts because like you get back out of jail and it's just, you could just easily fall right back into it. So I could see hmm. them giving the opportunity for people to take that off the record. Um, so what else? Uh, expunged in three years, plans to do so. I learned all of this on our short two-hour date. (laughs) So I kind of respect the man for laying it all out, but at the same time, do I want to date a convicted felon? We just talked about this yesterday on a first date, throwing all the dirty laundry out there. Like, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. Right. Um... What did I say yesterday? Was my advice yesterday? Because in this case, I would say no. Yeah, <laughs> you, you were like, I, I respect, respect it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it like, I want to see that. Yeah, I, res- I, I do respect <laughs> it. I, I just don't think it's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this case. Uh, he's now a completely different person. She said that. Uh, I've had loved ones in my past struggle with addiction. I've been there to both help, but have also had to step back and watch it destroy. I'm no stranger to a hard life, but damn, she says. Also, his brother is in jail for attempted murder, and the difference between murder is two inches. What does that mean? Uh, And the difference between murder is two inches, like... He stabbed somebody, but that's yeah, like if it goes two inches, one two inches to the right or two inches to the left, the dude lives, uh, but it hit her. 
I mean, mm. I feel like if you're a surgeon, then maybe because you knew exactly where you were going to hit. But yeah. For just a commoner, it's murder. <laughs> yeah, she's saying it's murder yeah. either attempted. way. But she's like, but attempted. just by this much. No, yeah. we're not, it's not. You said attempted murder. It's murder. <laughs> it's attempted murder. <laughs> There's a difference yeah. between murder and attempted it's murder. Attempted murder. Yes, okay. He so he lie. doesn't even fit. The, the so guy didn't any- die. Uh, all right. There it is. Um, <laughs> didn't hit anything, no. right? Yeah, correct. It's, he said attempted murder. He's in. J- he's in Got prison it. for attempted murder. Okay, yeah. so nobody's dead. <laughs> right. The so, only reason he didn't get sent to jail for murder is because the knife sh- stopped short by two inches. Okay, like yeah. it was pure luck. So he's not even completion oriented, is what I. <laughs> hey, that's his brother, right? Job? That's his brother. <laughs> not saying it runs in the family. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> yep, I made sure to ask all the questions. So addiction and anger runs in his family, which does give me pause for our future and potential children. Since mm-hmm. I also have addiction on my side of the family, okay. totally aware, mm-hmm. thinking about um, about kids after our first date is crazy, but I want kids and it all adds up. Please, she says, I need your help. P.S., I love you guys so much. Made the switch to the app when I moved and never stopped listening. Been listening for seven years. Strong. Okay. Well, that does add to your credibility. Yeah. <laughs> and we want you to keep listening for seven years, so don't get murdered. Oh, <laughs> do I want to say the politically correct thing? No, or do say I want to be say, honest? Put herself, what you need to do is put yourself in her shoes. You're walking after dark <laughs> in a not public place <laughs> and this and a woman says all the same things right. he just said to her okay so domestic drugs prison yeah. felon doing great now but says all the same things to you. She said it was only a two-hour date, too. So, I mean, it took him an hour and 50 minutes to get through all yeah, the charges. That, that man yeah. is straightforward. You got to give him that. The he ain't running t- from it. The final 10 minutes, he, he's completely changed. He just needs, like, um, a pamphlet. That's my dates. Like, he just needs, like, a pamphlet. Like, here, read up on me. I'm going to go to the salad bar. I feel like, um, <sighs> now, so, you know, you take all that information to account, but the fact that he was so forthcoming and, and said all that so quickly... That's another pill that you have to swallow it as well, because that is, for me personally, a little off-putting. Like, it's information you need to know, but again, within a two-hour date to learn all of that and about his attempted murder, you know, murder brother. That, that's a that's a lot. That's a lot. For this a is a first lot. date. And initially, I was thinking to myself, all right, maybe he's changed. But then I always think about when y'all made me put my sister in this situation and see if <laughs> she were coming to me yeah. saying, you know, this is the guy that I'm interested in. I, uh, yeah, I would probably tell her to run if I'm being honest. And how does she really know he's completely changed in two hours of a conversation when the first hour and fifty minutes was going through all of his charges? Well, yeah. You don't, but you still yeah. give people a chance, right? Um, in this case, a, I, ca- a cautious uh, chance. I, I, I mean, I'm I can't just, just write off every addict in my life that is like fallen on hard times and been to jail and then has crazy family. She even says I have crazy addict family. But so. that's family. This yeah. is literally a first date. Yeah. So I feel like it's not the like in all sincerity, it's not the addiction. It's not Mm-mm. the like. I do feel like people can be rehabilitated. Sure. I believe in second chances. If I'm on a first date with a guy and he unloads all of that on me, I'm gonna be like. You're too much too fast. Mm, I got to pump the brakes. Um, Brianna, good morning. You're part of the Burt Show. Hi. Good morning, guys. Morning. So I've been dating somebody for about a good 10 years now who was convicted felon, all that great stuff. And just like the guy, he laid it all out. And I feel like if they're completely honest about it, that makes it a whole lot easier because they generally are a different person if they take that time to share that with you. And also, you can pay to get all that stuff off your record. Money changes everything. <laughs> I don't know how. I had no idea. How soon did he, like, disclose all that information to you? Was it first so, day? Definitely not the first day. Like, okay. I don't know why he just came out the gate with that. But yeah. It was like a good two weeks into it. Okay. But he finally was like, yeah, so uh, I got a little story to tell you. <laughs> So if you pay to get it off your record, it it, it never happened. So he is it's a completely gone. different Unless person. Unless he <laughs> applies for like an FBI position, it's not going to come back up. Okay. Well, do thank do you. people not Google folks after like before the first date? Even like I would, I would I would give this information on the first date because I'd be like, you're going to see this on Google about me, and I want to be a different person than I was, and I don't want to lie. Well, I would have Googled it prior to going on the date. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be I'll just be a hundred percent, man. I know it's not going to make me look real nice, but um. This just whole thing kind of has an air of desperation to me. Uh, she hasn't gone out with a dude in two years. She finally goes out with a dude and just it feels like a lot of excuses uh, and a lot of questions. And I think in her heart, she kind of knows like, I don't really want to do this, but 
It's the best I can do right now is what it felt like yeah, to did me. she even say, like, it was a great date and I had the best time and I really like him? Because I don't want her to feel like she doesn't, she doesn't want to feel guilty because she ditches somebody because he's a felon. Like, I don't want you to go out with a guy because you don't want to make him feel bad because he's a, con- a convicted felon. Like, mm-hmm. either if you got chemistry with him, you do. If you don't, you don't. Take right. the whole felon aspect out of it. I never heard her say <laughs> I like him. I just heard her say, I want kids someday and he's got <laughs> anger issues and then I got crazy family, so I don't think I can have kids. I'm like, do you like him? <laughs> You're already thinking about babies. <laughs> and good morning. Morning, you're part of the Burt Show. Hi. Hey, I've been sober for a long time. I, I hate the way you guys are approaching this. I agree. Um, I, I, I mean, this this guy deserves a chance. He's just trying to lay it out on the table. Oh. And I do that when I meet people I because that. if you can't take it, you can't take it. You know, no. and I want people to know where I'm coming from. Almost everybody I know has a felony. And I work in a professional setting and people know my background because I just want you to know what you're working with. Yeah, this, and I just think it's unfair. You are saying what I wish I really was authentic, what I authentically meant, but I don't. So, But I am glad you called because you're but right. I said that. Because you're right. Yeah, Dobby, Dobby had your back. Dobby said, said that. that. And I and I totally I appre- that, Dobby. Yeah, and I appreciate everything you have to say, but getting that plethora of information, the brother included, like all of that, that would be too much for me on a first date. That's a lot. It is a lot. Hey, tell that to your mom. So tell me about this guy. <laughs> well, Do don't tell to? your mom all that on the first <laughs> date. Do I have to? Yeah, it's a lot. Man. It's not the felon part. It's just all of right, the things a lot. that are involved in it. The Bird Show. <laughs>